Hello, my name is Ness Tilson, and in this video I'd like to give you an overview of the process of designing a piece of furniture using polyboard and OptiCut. I will be using polyboard to create the design and then exporting the cutting list from polyboard to OptiCut to calculate and draw the cutting maps for cutting the parts from our raw materials. Note that although I'll be using the cutting list from polyboard, OptiCut is in fact a standalone application and you can also type in a cutting list manually or import it directly from a spreadsheet or a text file. So let's start a completely new bit of furniture using the default parameters of polyboard and see how we're going to go about this. And here we are in polyboard and let's set up a default box. Here we have a simple box that we can see in 3D in the default material of 19 millimeters per laminae and let's just apply a manufacturing method on it so that we can get this box set up automatically so that it's made in solid laminated elm. Now let's just add a plinth underneath here see the plinth elevation comes in automatically from the manufacturing method and let's just put it upright in the middle dividing it into two volumes on the left let's put some drawers Let's add four drawers and there they go and let's put a couple of doors on this side. Put a double door and in the inside of the cupboard let's put a shelf, let's put a mobile shelf. There we go, mobile shelf so that it will come out in pegs. Let's have a look in 3D and see what we've got here. So we can see that the cabinet's quickly set up with our manufacturing method. We can open the drawers and see that they're, all the insides are already set up for us. And if we look in 3D we can see all the manufacturing details as well have been set up. All nice and neat. Ready for manufacturing. But we can see that the model has solid panel doors which I want to change into frame doors. So let's uh, just add an assembly detail onto the doors, make them framed and panel doors and let's copy this frame and panel door, copy the assembly detail onto all the other facade components just by copying and pasting it. Let's do this very quickly. We'll just go over every facade that we want framed and select it and paste on the assembly detail. You see the assembly detail will automatically adapt itself to the size of our facade component and that seems to be okay and let's now let's go over to the 3D and see what it's done yeah that's given us a nice framed and panelled facade now let's just send our cutting list over to OptiCut I click on OptiCut export and we're going to OptiCut uh, probably was going to save a file which will open itself automatically into OptiCut and here we go this is OptiCut opening with the cutting list opening automatically now we've already set up all the materials in OptiCut that correspond to our materials in polyboard so we just click on optimize and OptiCut will automatically optimize all our panels on the sheet material that we have in stock on this side here we have the number of panels for the project and the total surface and cost of the panel and the cuts and the edging if there's any edging of the project and here we have the list of sheet of materials as I click on each one we can see the material and how it has to be cut underneath in the cutting map if I click on the right the left hand side sorry we can see the cutting sequence where highlighting an item will actually show it on the cutting map what we have to do so we have here two items either there are cuts to do or there are actual panels which to be to be cut this is all organized hierarchically so that you can on the first level know exactly what to cut and then on the second level know exactly what to cut so here there is absolutely no ambiguity on the sequence of your cuts and this certainly makes cutting very very fast and easily organized OptiCut will print out now the cutting maps and the cutting lists so here we, ha here we have the printout of all the list of parts and if we turn the pages we'll get the actual 
cutting mat for each particular sheet that has to be cut. We can also print out labels, so if we click on Labels Print, and OptiCut will print out all the labels so that you can stick a label onto every part and know exactly what that part is as you cut it. Now let's set up the cutting list that came in from the bar materials from Polyboard. Let's import the file that Polyboard made for the bar materials and let's just click on Optimize. And here we have a 2D optimization of all the different parts, the styles and rounds of the doors, which are actually cut out of 4 meter 50 long sections of bars. We have exactly the same information as we do for the panels with our cutting map. Now our cutting map here is only in 2D, which can be shown in also with a 3D representation to show the saw curves in the pieces of wood that are being cut. We also have, of course, the printouts for the workshop, the lists, and the list per bar, as well as the cutting map per bar. And we can also get the labels the same as for the 2D optimizations. Let's go back to our 2D cutting maps and see what OptiCut has done with our material stock, the stock of panels that we have. If we look at the stock of panels that OptiCut has now, we can see that at the end of the list, OptiCut has added all the offcuts coming from our project. So that for one material, we have added the offcuts into that material stock. This means that in fact, OptiCut is taking away and adding material for every project and really optimizing the use of your offcuts. So that's quickly how to use Polyboard and OptiCut together to get quick design and manufacturing. Note that OptiCut can also be used as a standalone optimization program for any material, sheet material and bar material, whatever your industry. So it's not only for woodworking. Cutting lists can be typed in manually or you can import from a text file, from a spreadsheet or from a word processor. Once you've set up OptiCut and eventually Polyboard, with the right manufacturing methods and the right stocks, you will make your manufacturing process smooth and efficient. And you'll be saving a lot of time and materials and in the end, making more profits from your business. So I hope that you found this little video interesting and you found some information that is going to be useful to you and that you've learned how the OptiCut and eventually Polyboard can help you in your business. If you have any questions or remarks, don't hesitate to contact us via the contact forms on our websites. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.